Hi guys, welcome back. Today I want to show you how to um, make a loft bed. Okay, so eventually I'll put the template on my website so you can get that. Um, it's going to be in two parts. This one isn't done yet, but you can kind of see how it goes. Um, now as far as the seat goes, it's just a wooden dowel that is cut and then another wooden dowel that's smaller that is cut. And then what I did was I took some coffee stirrers and I cut one longer and then two shorter at about an inch. Okay, and then I glued them on and then I flipped it around that way and I did the same thing on top of that. That way, the long pieces on the bottom here and then the short pieces are on the top of this one underneath. And then it's glued and then you can put some seat cushions or whatever you want on there okay so that's the seat all right now I've taken the right side and the left side and I've put them together and I drew a line going straight across there okay once I've done that then I went ahead and cut the back base board And now I'm going to align glue on both of those. Okay, so take your baseboard, put it even with the left side, and then take your right side and put it even at the bottom. And it should be two different heights. This one should be lower than that one. Okay, now you want to take your bed part the bed support and you're going to put it right even with the left side on that line that you drew okay which should bring it right to the top of this one and you're going to have to straighten it all up of course because it's going to move on you so just be patient And I'm just using some Elmer's Wood Glue Max for this project. Okay, so once that's there, I'm gonna go ahead and actually, cause my board looks like it's a little bowed right here on this piece. So I'm gonna put some masking tape on it to help hold it in place until it completely dries. And then when it dries, you may have to go back and fill it in if your board is warped. Okay, so that's there for now, and I'm going to do the same thing to the back back here, just a little bit, just to pull it together. Okay, and once I have everything in place, I'm going to actually put a big piece of tape around the whole thing to keep it from moving. But as you can see, this is up, this is up, and then this is even. All right. Now you have your desk. To determine the height of your desk, you wanna look at your chair, okay? So your chair should be pretty like this, like probably about an inch above that, maybe eight inches above that if um, you're doing to scale. And then you wanna go ahead and measure down and then make it even on both sides. And then you're gonna glue that in place there. All right, so I'm just using this little spacer, and um, I actually went down about an inch and a half from the top of the bottom of the bed, if that makes any sense to you. <laughs> the top of the bottom, that's funny. All right, so then that's where that's gonna go, and then I'm gonna just kinda slide that over to make sure I have it even. 
and then slide it back again to make sure that side's even. All right, and then I'm just gonna lift it out of there. All right, so now that I have that in there, I'm gonna take a piece of masking tape, which those of you who watch me regularly know that I use lots of masking tape. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put that on there. And then that's gonna help hold all of that together. All right, and it should dry like that. And then you'll have your little stool that'll go in there for the desk. And yes, it's underneath it there, but this is for a kid, so that's how loft beds are made for kids. Oh, now I gotta put that back. It just fell. That's what I get for trying to turn it up before it was dry. All right, so for the steps, you're gonna take your step support pieces and you are going to glue them in place on the front of each one of these bases. Making sure they're even with the top and even with the front. And for this piece of wood, I'm just using um, a paint stick because they're just thin enough, but you can use one eight inch bass wood. And then this is one quarter inch um, oak for that. And you don't have to use oak, you can use pine. I just used it because I bought it a long time ago and it was on sale. So you can use what you want for that as long as it's quarter inch. All right, so now you want to go ahead and let these set up, okay? And then glue these right in the middle there. Now, if you want your steps to open, you can have them open, but you're gonna to have to glue it and make these pieces a little bit longer. Okay, so if you want them to open, you would just make the step exactly the same way, and then you would cut a piece to fit on top of this to this point, and then it would be overlapping here. And I'm taking a spare stick that I had left over and I'm just going to get that excess glue out of there. So a lot of little pieces to these steps, but um, if you can't get it to stick and you're having a hard time, again, mask and tape will be your friend. So just put a piece there. Put another piece up on this part. And then continue up until you finish. Okay, so for the final piece, you're gonna take a piece here and you're gonna measure it, mark it, and then you're just gonna take and go down it with the grain. Now this one's not even because I didn't mark it or measure it twice and then it'll snap off because you're going with the grain it'll break apart real easy okay so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and glue this in place 
Okay, so once this is glued in place, then um, we'll be ready to do the rest of it. Now, I will say this, if you wanna go ahead and make this steps where they open, take this board and glue it on the front of here, and this one on the front of here, and this one on the front of there, and then so on. And then you can have this on top where it'll open up like this. like that okay and then for the inside to make the toy boxes you would glue those because they would all be up an eighth of an inch you would glue that there and then glue that to that and then those would be open toy boxes for storage okay and that's it for that and then you would just take this off of here the mask and tape of course has to be gone before you can glue it to here And then you want to glue that to the base and then once that's glued together it'll give you a set of steps going up into the bed you can attach a rail using some quarter inch dowel because it's the same thickness as that just kind of put one here but cut at the height of this and then put one like maybe back here a little bit so they have a little bit of room to get in and then go across. All right, so I'm gonna let that set up and I'll be right back. Or a piece of duct tape underneath of it so it will have something to use as a hinge and then the back would have to be sanded around. Okay, so to apply the duct tape hinge, what I've done is I went ahead and sanded the edge of this here and I'm gonna set it in there like that then I'm going to put the hinge right even with this. And then put it on there like that. Okay, I'm gonna have to pull it forward just a little bit. You need to leave a tiny bit of space because it didn't wanna open just then. and then it'll open up. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other ones and then I'll do pieces here. Okay, so now once you have that done, then you wanna go ahead and put your crazy glue on there, go across the top of there, and then attach that. Okay, so once you have that there, go ahead and do the same thing all the way up. Now I will say these have to be a little bit smaller if you're doing the insert with the toy box than the front base because you're overlapping it so you're losing a little bit. Well, if you're going to put a base on it, you're going to have to narrow this by one eighth inch. It doesn't fit that way. And then you can leave this open all the way down, or you can put a, another line here. And box it off because they're really not going to be able to reach way down there.
Okay, so now they can reach that. This one we can leave like that because um, they'll be able to reach down in that. But if you want, you can easily take this piece here and manipulate it into a square and have a smaller toy box if you want. Which I think I'll do that because even though they can reach it, it just will look more realistic once I have it all glued together. Okay, so that's how that's gonna go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some extra glue in there to hold that since I've moved it so many times. Okay, so now when you're gluing it, you're gonna put glue here, here, all along here, on here, down here, and across the front here, okay? Now, be sure not to get it on the parts that flip up, and you can paint that so you don't see the duct tape. And then you wanna glue it right to there and make sure it's even with the bottom when you do it. Have it even back here at the back. And then these will all open up. Now you want to cut one piece of quarter inch dowel to go up here and you want to go about an inch higher than the bed because what that's going to do is that's going to give you your Okay, so go ahead and cut your wooden dowel for here. Go one inch higher than there for your railing post and then one over here, the same thing. And then you can do a cross one if you like. I'm gonna take some wooden dowels, and I actually decided to go with the bigger ones for the side and the smaller ones for in the middle because I like how it fit this much better. And you wanna go ahead and glue that there. Be sure not to get any glue on this piece here, though. Make it even with the bottom and make it even with that. It should overhang just a smidge on the, on the right side, though. Okay, so then you want to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side and put some glue going straight down. Now, you want to make sure that you have them close enough together that your piece here is going to fit. So take your top piece and put it at the bottom to make sure that they're even. Okay, so once we put the post in, and you have this glued here, and that on the side, we'll glue this here. All right, so now you wanna go ahead and take a piece and glue it right here. And then this piece, you're gonna glue here and make that even. And again, I'm gonna put a pin through it just to help hold it in place. And then we'll glue it just like that. Okay, so while the tape is still on it, you kinda of get an idea of what it's gonna look like. You can go ahead and put some posts in between here, like toothpicks or wooden dowels, 
or you could just kind of take some of these and just go straight across with it like that if you want. That's it. Or you can actually um, just put two of these going across here. It's completely up to you how you want to go ahead and do that. Um, but there it is there. Of course it all has to get painted and sanded down and everything. This top one does not open.